Hello, I'm Matthew Lamont, and welcome to Trailer Reaction Videos. I know it's been a long time because I was so busy with other things, mostly writing a book. I'm not, well, specifically writing and contributing to a book. It's called Lost Films of the Lost World and Movies That Time Forgot by John LeMay. Yes, I'm a contributor to this book. So, check it out. I highly recommend it. Where is that coming from? Seriously. With that said, so, I don't know, the last time we saw Godzilla, yeah, Godzilla vs. Kong, but I'm talking about the other Godzilla from Toho, yeah, Shin Godzilla. And let me tell you, it was fun while it lasted, but uh, we haven't had a Japanese Godzilla film in a long time. So now I just caught wind that there's going to be a movie called Godzilla Zero. It takes place in post-World War II Japan in the mid to late 40s, post-World War II. So it's going to be a new Godzilla picture. And from what I read, there's going to be two different kinds of Godzillas. So, how will that work? I'm intrigued. So, let's take a look at Godzilla Minus One, a prequel to the franchise. Oh, the clock. Whoa! There you have it, Godzilla Minus One, and it's directed by Takashi Yamazaki, and he is the guy who directed It's Always Sunny on Third Street Part Two. And let me tell you, in that movie, Godzilla was CGI, and I'm excited to see that film. So you get to, but I get to hear notice something. First of all, the design of Godzilla. It looks like an updated version of Godzilla from Godzilla the Ride, found at a Japanese theme park. And, th and second, the design looks updated a bit. And third, the roar. The roar is taken from the 1954 film. The last time I heard that roar, the roar was used was in Shin Godzilla for Phase 3, because Phase 1 looked like a tadpole, Phase 2 was evolving a bit and looked had like uh, no arms and little nubs. Phase 3 had like small arms, Phase 4 looked like Godzilla. But in the Phase 3 design, he looked like they used that roar. In Phase 4, the roar was from 1962 to 1975, the classic Godzilla roar. So, but this one, this one had a 1954 roar. And uh, using that roar in this movie and the previous film is like using the Johnny Weissmuller Tarzan yell from Tarzan the Ape Man and using it in Tarzan the Ape Man 1959 remake and the 1981 remake with Miles O'Keefe and Bo Derrick. It's the 1980, it's the 1932 version used a few times. And because it's well, MGM, they own the right to that sound, so why not use that? And since it's Toho, they own the right to that sound rather than update it a bit like they did in Godzilla 1985 and uh, the Heisei films and Millennium films why not recycle that roar for the Shin Godzillas it's Shin Godzilla and Godzilla Minus One so there you have it I'm ex I heard that this movie is coming out in Japan November 3rd and this movie is coming to America from what I heard December 1st okay so whatever you do don't get sick stay healthy stay safe stay happy and I'm sure that this movie is going to blow 
other holiday films out of the box office. And it's gonna be a big box office hit. Hopefully, I don't have a crystal ball with me. How'd they get there? So, let's hope for the best. And will it be dubbed or subtitled when it gets to release in America? And I also like to point out something. Don't give it a limited release! That's a. Because Shin Godzilla got a limited release. Because it was such a successful film. And they said, oh, let's release it again. I wanted to see it, but tickets got sold out. That's terrible. And now. I wanted to just, now I, I want, when it gave me a second chance, I tried to see it, but it was raining, so, let's hope for the best. I can't wait to see Godzilla Minus One. So, uh, what do you think? Do you think this is worth a watch? Do you think this is better than the legendary uh, Godzilla franchise, I mean the legendary MonsterVerse? Comment down below, I, and tell me about it, because I can't. Wait to see this movie. Despite the teaser, at least it didn't spoil away the rest of the movie, like Godzilla vs. Kong. It didn't spoil it. So this is Matthew Bielmont saying, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a nice day.